this shit gonna get serious.
So right here, I'm going to show you how to get um, your yarn stuck out of your machine. This can normally happen if you don't have a good feed-in system or typically if your yarn like snags onto something like the wheel of your gun, then it can sometimes loop in it and get stuck. I know that's how mine typically does sometimes. This is very rare. Since I just started to, this is very rare for it to get snug. But I know when I was like initially starting, it would snag into the wheel all the time. But once you get a really good feed system and you actually get like used to your yarn placement and just getting used to the gun itself, you'll more than likely not have this issue of like your wheel getting jammed in and things of that nature. So right now what I'm doing, I cut the yarn so that I'm not working with the whole um, wad of yarn. I'm working with just the snagged part. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with my scissors and I'll just cut and pull out the yarn as I move. So right here in this one, my yarn got stuck at the bottom of the wheel. So it wasn't necessarily like inside the wheel. It was more on the bottom around like the silver metal part that connects the wheel to the rest of the machine. So when it gets caught around there, that's a lot easier to take care of. You could just snip it with some scissors and then yank it out piece by piece and it'll come out pretty easily. Might take a second if you don't have like good enough scissors, but I'm using hair scissors right here, but um, it worked pretty well. And that's just all I'm doing for the most part. It's just snagging it out. So I got the yarn all the way taken out. It doesn't take that long, especially for like the bottom part of the wheel. So I'll turn my gun machine on and do a couple of test shots just to make sure there's no more yarn stuck and that it runs smoothly. That's very important. That way, like when you're starting, you don't jam it up even further and make something worse. So now I'm going to show you guys my feed-in system. This basically um, is just how your yarn feeds through. So I have two sticks, on um, two stick poles, whatever, on the connected to my frame where my yarn is. And then I have two loops on the side of the frame that pulls the yarn through. I didn't show it in the video, but I can show it another time. <laughs> but basically, yeah, it's very important that you have on a, you have it on a really good feed system. That way, when it pulls, um, when it's pulling your yarn out as you're tufting, it's not causing, it's not like so much tension to where your yarn will snag out of your machine. But if you guys want me to make a more detailed video on tips and tricks about starting for tufting, especially because I just started and there's some stuff that some people probably don't tell y'all about, make sure to comment that down below and I will make a detailed video on some stuff that I learned while tufting and just general things to know. So right now I'm just feeding the yarn back through my gun and I showed y'all how I laid it this one time. Cause y'all see there's a, that there's that silver hook, excuse me, I cannot talk. Some people like to put their yarn right there, but I personally don't like to have my yarn on the right side of me. I like it on the left because it's just less tension and it's just easier for me. So I laid it on top of like the gun, like on the ledge, but that just caused it to yank through the wheel again because as I was tufting and it fell down, it got caught on the wheel. 
So as you can see, right there, boom. You see, I'm tugging it and I realize that it got stuck back again. So I don't typically put my yarn on that ledge, but I was just trying to show y'all maybe that could be an alternative if you don't like using the little hook. But to be honest, that's not a good alternative. Don't even use that method. Let's be real. So I'm just cutting it out. This time it actually got stuck on the top and the bottom. So inside the wheel and inside the, and on the bottom of it. Inside the wheel and on the bottom of the wheel. So that might take a little bit longer to pull out. But since I've had this happen a lot when I was starting out, like in the beginning, beginning, um, it's easier to pull out from that. Just put some scissors and then you can get out and it comes out fine. Do a couple test shots. Of course, I didn't show that. Um, I did it on my lap. And then I'll go ahead and feed the yarn right back through and get right back into it. Real simple, real easy.
kingdom. Girl, I get the money with him, make you mind up. If you love me, never enough, you make you mad up. Now only you give me love, but make me nice, so nice, so nice, so I feel make you mind up. Girl, I love you, plus I never make you mind up. If I let you smoke, it's you gon' lose my lighter. If you bear it, nothing, I'ma spill the night. Yeah, we look like it all over me every day. Diamond eyes on you, my money, I go pay. For your love, I go pay, yeah. Uh. And they make it money, Jay. I said five in the morning, I wake up to five for my eyes, yeah, in my mind is a warning, praying to the one you're relying, I've been wondering all day, tried to be fine but I found it, the noise in my mind what it made me, tried to get by but I'm burning, I mean I, my mind is right, all these thoughts I'm traveling, trying to give up. I've been running to be on my lane, my mind, running to the other side, when it's time to leave my life, then it tries to pick me up, tell you what I need, right yet, I really need, I really need time, I really need, I need a friend of mine, I really need, I really need my love. I really need, 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 I
the money, car, the moon, the sun, and jewelry, and all these things I've got. I wonder, hey, would you still want me? Won't you? Would you still call me? Still call me? You'll be loving me, loving you. Bye.